Hey guys, thanks for checking back in. So we're here with the boat engine and uh, we're gonna start tearing it down. I say we, but it's really, it's really just me. Um, gonna go over the pump disassembly and show you how where it's, where it's loose. Also gonna show you a bracket that I have. I gotta make some, some other brackets to make it connect that uh, hopefully uh, resolve that issue from it uh, coming loose, should set it up where um, the pump won't be able to move. You know, once it's on there, this other bracket comes from the side and locks it on. Uh, so hopefully that's the issue and hopefully uh, it'll work. I'm gonna do a time-lapse, uh, so stay tuned. Thanks. All right guys, so as you can see, the pump is off. A Little bit of a pain with those bolts and it was spinning the whole time, so it's really hard. I had to use the uh, pry bar to hang on to it. But I'll show you here what's going on. So you see that's the balancer bolt in there that holds this bracket on. And this is, this is loose, it's just spinning. So I'm gonna have to pull off that balancer bolt I mean, I'm taking it off anyway because I'm probably going to change this balancer to an LSA balancer. This is a stock truck balancer, but um, you know, you can see that this is loose. It doesn't seem like this is super loose, but obviously something's going on. Maybe it wore down. I gotta get in there and take a look. So I don't, the actual the balancer bolt wasn't loose. It looks like, and I don't know if you could see in there. It looks actually like. The balancer bolt and the washer, it was actually spinning the, on this bracket and running down. I don't know if you could see how it's like grooved in there and actually shaving. You can see a lot of shaved metal in there. You guys can see that. But it's actually, this, this the pump was spinning and spinning this. And actually it was grooving in shaving down the bracket so i'm gonna have to call uh, i think i got this from hardened marine i'll have to call them and see if i could continue to use this or i mean i may not have an issue once i put this bracket on i'll show you this bracket so this bracket here is going to go like this and connect to the side of the pump. So the pump is gonna be like this. And this bracket's gonna come in like, and hold on like that. So it should help this from moving around. Maybe any vibration. Um, you know, help that from, from spinning, you know, and loosening up. Because, I, I mean, this thing used to just kind of shake like this and was probably just wearing down that bracket. So this side piece should help. I just got to make something off of this. The front plate cover or a couple of bolts behind it. I'll have to make a little L bracket to hold this on to this, or like that. And yeah, we'll see, see what happens.
lot of built up carbon in here. See how black it is. I'm guessing that's not good. <laughs> so I gotta uh, see what's going on with that. Maybe that's what the injector guy was talking about. On the intake side, which is down there. It's all black. It's all black soot. Gotta clean that up. As you can see, it comes, comes apart pretty easy, pretty quick. I got all the rockers out and I did notice that two of them were loose number four and six were loose but the issue is didn't seem to be one of the cylinders either one of the cylinders that was having an issue with it you know when I when I checked the spark plugs there was a couple of dead cylinders and those were not it so not sure but we'll continue on taking these heads off. Doesn't look bad in here at all. Definitely gonna upgrade the uh, lifters to the LS7 lifters. These are the ones that came out. Looks like stock 6.0. Let's get the other one off.
So as you can see, uh, this side looks really good as well. You got the valley cover off the top. I'm actually going to get the ICT billet cover without the knock sensors, since I'm not using them anyway. And the LS7 lifters, going to be ordering those. Um, other than that, it looks good. The head gaskets look good. Be able to reuse these. Also reuse the uh, studs, thank God. And that's it, everything else looks good. Uh, these are 660 dual springs. Not sure if I'm gonna upgrade those to something like BTR. I don't know how crazy I need to go with this motor because it's not like we're getting a ton of horsepower out of it, but I gotta look into that. Uh, rockers look good. I am gonna order the, uh, the trunnions, the upgraded trunnions for these. So I'll have to press those out and um, and get those the new ones pressed in. No big deal. Push rods look good. These are uh, chromoly aftermarket, and that's it. So stay tuned, and I'll post up the next video once I get those parts. Thanks, guys.